just can't keep living this way So starting today, I'm breaking out of this cage I'm standing up, I'ma face my demon, I'm manning up I'ma hold my ground, I've had enough Now I'm so fed up, time to put my life back together right now, now. It was my decision to get clean, I did it Good morning lovelies. How is everybody doing today? I know I'm late from last week and I'm early for this week. Turning out of my driveway. Today we are going to get a car vlog. Woo woo, car update. How many of us have not done that? Well besides Sleeper Tink, I don't think you've done a car update. Uh, hold on, seatbelt, most important thing. Lovely seatbelt, feels nice. I don't have to stretch it out so far, right? Okay, hello. My name is Melody. For all those who are new, look at this, sunglasses and glasses. I'm set, guys. Hello and welcome, and thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. If you are going through a weight loss journey and are posting it to YouTube, please let me know and I'll come subscribe to your channel. Okay, first off, I'm going to get with stats. I have this. I have my stuff so I don't forget anything. My stats, highest weight was 245. I am five foot three inches, I'm short. And my BMI was 39. My starting pre-op weight was 220. My surgery weight was 208. Last week, uh, four months post-op was November 2nd, yesterday. Okay, October 16th, almost a month ago about three weeks ago. I was at 169. Today I'm 168. In the last three weeks I have ranged between 166 to 168. I'm still at a stall. It's been three weeks and I'm still at a stall. It's so frustrating. No, I'm not weighing myself every day because I don't have the chance to. Um, I think that's part of the problem because for me, weighing every day kept me accountable. And when I'm not by a scale, I'm losing accountability. A lot for a lot of people, they choose not to be near a scale. But for me, it, it really, really helps me stay accountable every day when I'm by a scale and I'm obsessed with weighing myself. And it's really become such an obsession. Obsession. So I'm pretty annoyed that I am at a stall. However, my clothes and going shopping and measurements are all still shrinking and things are falling off me and getting new clothes is such an amazing feeling. I told my husband last night, I don't know how many times I can go into the clothes section and look up for medium and large or size 10, 12 and not have to worry about knowing if it fits or not or wondering if it fits or not, but going in and knowing it will fit and that is such an amazing feeling and I absolutely love that feeling when I go shopping. I'm still not used to it and I still go, oh, I don't have to go in the plus size section anymore, which is absolutely amazing. So I weighed myself this morning. Uh, I'm one, oh, I already told you, I said I was 168, but actually that's a lie. I lied to you. Um, I wrote that last night thinking it was going to be the same. I am at 166, and like I said, I'm ranging anywhere between 166 and 168. Once I hit the 165 mark or under, I know I broke my stall, but until then, it's still a stall to me, even though I'm ranging, losing weight, and gaining weight off and on. Not that time of month for me, so I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, I made a new group for all my YouTube fellow uh uh, sleeve sisters or weight loss surgery sisters and brothers. I made a new Facebook group that you guys can join. It is a YouTube weight loss surgery YouTube group. I will leave the description down in uh, I will leave the I can't even talk today. I will leave the link in the description box down below and you guys can post your updates your videos um, your pictures and discussion of weight loss surgery. I know there's like a billion uh, Facebook groups already for weight loss surgery, but I thought I would include YouTube so people don't feel weirded out by them being the only one by posting a YouTube video. Because sometimes I'm the only one in that group that posts a video. So I made a YouTube group. I have talked to four people. I uh, co commented back on the Google Hangout. I would like to do that next week. So let's get that started. I've got topics written down so we can get started on that. We can talk um, in the Facebook group. If you join that Facebook group, we can talk in that group alone. 
we could talk about the Google Hangout all together, all at once, instead of separately. Hold on a second, let me turn here. Nobody's coming, and I'm going. I am eating a little jar of marinated artichoke hearts. They're the greasy ones, not based in water, they're based in oil. And I eat about two or three of them. Just that little bit of oil is helping loosen my bowels a little bit, so I'm not so constipated. I went to the bathroom this morning and it was a little bit of poop. I know this is TMI for some people who are not used to weight loss surgery talk. I know it was just a, it was a little bit, but it was easier to go. So moving on, we're done with poop, cut talk. The other day, actually last week, um, I had a lot of energy and I did a four mile walk and I was super very proud of myself. I walked two miles downhill and two miles uphill and I haven't done that in years. I haven't walked in you know, two miles in years. I was very proud of myself. I walked four miles last week. Today, I have no enthusiasm to exercise or move or whatsoever. I don't wanna do anything. Anybody else have those moments where you're just so super tired and just don't wanna do anything? I think that goes for all of us. Another thing I've been doing is I talked to my doctor, my regular physician, and they sent in a sleep study for me and I'm doing an at-home sleep study. And what I did is I hooked up this thing to my chest, um, wrapped around my chest so it could detect my breathing movements, and also taped little de breathing detectors right here on my nose. It didn't go up my nose, it was just like hot air, so it could feel like the hot air coming. It was a detector. So this at-home study was pretty cool, so I had to tape it up onto my Thing. I also had a pulse thing on my finger. Um, hopefully the pulse thing worked because I have these on and I was not about to take them off for it. I am not taking them off for a stupid sleep study, I'm sorry. So hopefully it worked uh, for that, but uh, I did it two nights and then I send it back in with my consent forms and blah, blah, blah. And then they will tell me if I still have obstructive sleep apnea. I don't think I have obstructive sleep apnea because I've been having a lot more energy these days. And I don't feel so groggy in the morning, except for this morning, but that's because my kids are sick, cold, flu, coughing all night. But I don't think I have it anymore because um, I don't feel groggy so much in the morning. I don't feel like I have to sleep throughout the day. So my diet, my own diagnosis is that, or prognosis is that it's gone away. Um, so this is week 17, 18 slash four month update. I cannot believe it's been four months since my surgery. Where has the time gone? And this hair problem is freaking psycho. I am so ready to shave my head. That's why I'm wearing this besides the fact that it's cold outside. I am so tired of losing my hair. I keep getting encouragement that it's going to grow back. It stops, it slows down at six months. So I got two more months of waking up and my whole pillow just covered in hair. It's just disgusting. I hate it. I'm always having to clean it off my body and my clothes and it's just absolutely ridiculous. I didn't think it was going to be that bad for me, but lo and behold, it was. So, okay guys, it's been 11 minutes since I started talking. I hope you enjoyed today's update. Be encouraged. Don't fall off the bandwagon. Stay straight on the course. Be positive every day. Speak positive to yourself. It is a mindset. Yeah, I know you can't see me. Uh, it is a mindset. And don't forget to always talk uh, nice to yourself. Be nice to yourself. And don't be so hard on yourself. We all make mistakes. And sometimes we fail for a couple of days. But that's okay. I had a couple pieces of candy. I ain't sweating it. Halloween. Holidays. I know it's going to happen. Oh, well. And uh, that's not the reason for my stall because I haven't really been devouring candy. I just know stalls happen. So anyway, I'm picking my son up from school and we will see you guys all next week. Hopefully I won't be late again. And uh, I've been thinking about doing some food stuff on my channel as well. I'm still thinking about that stuff. Those of you who want to do the Google Hangout, make sure you respond to my previous comment and join up with the group so that way we can talk about it and get that all situated. And we'll see you all later. I love you guys so, so much. Ciao.